Helldivers 2 has been the shining city on the hill in the gaming industry. Gameplay that's 100% designed for maximum fun, an extremely fair entry fee, no crazy overpriced special editions, locking key gameplay experiences to players to feed off their FOMO to maximize profits, and a perfect example of how to run an actual live service game. Amazing content drops, major orders for the community to take part in, a free battle pass that actually provides content people want within it and microtransactions that are actually micro. People love Helldivers 2 until today. Because of this message that was sent to players at 11.30 at 9 Pacific Standard Time, I see what you did there burying the lead. This message stating that you need to make a PlayStation account to be able to play Helldivers 2. Stating that current players on Steam will start to see a mandatory login on May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam account and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. And the internet is not happy about that. Also, did you know that roughly 64% of the people who are watching the channel are not subscribed? If you want to stay updated with everything going on with gaming, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right back into those details. And you can see if you go to the Steam page here that recent reviews are showing as mixed around 65% liking the game now. Stating that the automatons have taken over the Sony headquarters. And you can see the recent graph of when the news hit of when people started to send dislikes to this game. And yeah, you can kind of tell when that news broke. Now, why is Airhead Studios forcing this on the players? Why is Sony making people do this? Well, there's probably multiple reasons why. Well, the official reasoning is stated within the message here saying, due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. And that that grace period, has expired, which sounds like a bit of a shock, like why require this now? But it actually might be a bit of truth behind this whole thing, because a Twitter user recently pointed this out, saying like, you guys are mad now. You can see right here on the text saying, linking your Steam account to the PlayStation Network account is required for playing the game. But let's be real, once you saw that QR code and about linking accounts, I was like, hell no, I just wanna play the game. Now, initially you hear this, you go, okay, this is just PlayStation trying to get my information. Basically, there's no benefit to the players, which seems like there might be a little bit of a benefit to the players on this. And Arrowhead states it's mainly security and safety. Saying account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in the type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal, which kind of makes sense. But then when you think about it, like, have you been griefed in Helldivers 2? Have you had any issues with the community? From my experience, it's been pretty clean of any kind of bad feelings or bad actors out there. Now, of course, there always will be, but this safety and security does not feel very required. Wired. And I just saw this bit of information, which I felt was just a little misleading, replying to people on here saying, no, it allows us to ban people. That's the sole reason for this. And this person's part of the community and support team there at Arrowhead, which it just doesn't really feel like this is the sole reason why this is happening. What it actually feels like, it's a way for Sony to boost their numbers to get my information to show like why these games are doing so well on PlayStation Network to hopefully get more investors to probably get some more profits. You know, data is power. And the more data that they have on their players, the more accurately they can represent their player base to hopefully get more investors. And trust me, when I say PlayStation is gonna want your data when it comes to playing Helldivers 2, because look at this player chart right here. Helldivers 2 is still thriving on Steam. And at the time of recording this, peak concurrent player count for 24 hours is 120,000 players. So many game developers wish they had those numbers for their game. One person who definitely knows a lot about cybersecurity and data information, the back end of gaming things, is Pirate Software, po very popular Twitch streamer, replied to this saying, not happening, removing access from Steam players unless they make a PSN account and link it it months after release is absurd. Review changed to negative and I have filed for a refund. But the thing is that making a publisher account for whatever game you're playing on is relatively industry standard. How many games have you wanted to play out there but then you had to sign into like your Ubisoft account, your EA account, your 
PlayStation account, your Xbox account, your, at the time back in the day, Bethesda, ZeniMax account. This is nothing new, so why are players upset about this now? One, it's because it's required later, right? If this was required day one, as soon as you install the game, people just roll their eyes and sign up and do it anyways. No big hubbub. But since this message kind of came out of the blue, right? We had no expectations of needing to require this. Like me and many other people out there, definitely didn't read that QR code page about linking your account. And we've been playing months of this game with no issues about having to have a PSN account to now being forced to have one is kind of feeling a bit weird. Just doesn't settle right with the community. The second thing within this entire messaging on this entire topic is that when you read this article, you don't see anything uh, for players who just don't want to have a PSN account. People value their, their information and their security and to be forced to be making an account for this after playing this game for months and having no potential outlet for like refunds or anything like that just feels like, oh my God, I spent 40 plus dollars on this game if you buy the microtransactions and now it can be just taken away from me. They do link to the PlayStation support account, so maybe if you get in contact with support and you state the obvious of like, hey, I've been playing this game for a long time, I don't want to make an account for security reasons or for my information to get given out to PlayStation. You might find somebody at the support network who might be sympathetic to you, but you don't want to rely on just people potentially being nice and understanding the situation. And three, there actually are people who legitimately won't be able to play this game. If you go here, you can see a player lives in a current area that doesn't have a PlayStation network. They would have to use a VPN to be involved with this. And actual developer said, first of all, it's Sony decision, not ours. Secondly, we don't have all of the details about region related issues yet. We're chasing Sony to get more information. So the forcing of people to get accounts doesn't really seem to be on Arrowhead, but more on PlayStation execs would probably to get your information to flex their numbers of how great their product is. For how abrupt this messaging seems to be, it just kind of feels that way right now. Now the CEO of Arrowhead and the Hail Divers 2 creative director, who's been making so many base takes on Twitter, recently just kind of came out and said like, hey everyone, in regards to linking your accounts and if any questions, click on this website here to go ahead and click on support if you have anything you want to reach out to. And take note of the community note, because on the support site that is linked within that tweet shows you a direct quote here on the webpage saying, do I have to sign into PSN to play PlayStation games on PC? Signing into PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. That doesn't look good. So will this change Kill Hill Divers 2? It won't. While it sucks having to make a PlayStation account, being forced to make this account that's completely unnecessary as we've been able to play for months without needing one, it's just annoyance that I think a lot of people are just gonna have to roll their eyes and make an account and then move forward with play, being able to play Helldivers because the game is really fun. I know for myself, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll my eyes and go through the process to make a PlayStation account and then be able to continue playing Helldivers. But the matter is not really the fact of having to make an account, it's the principle of it. To me, it feels like a super rushed message from PlayStation be like, hey, make those accounts mandatory now. And it's one of those situations where it just feels way more beneficial for the corporate overlords over at Sony compared to the people who are actually enjoying the content. If you guys made it this far into the video, like and subscribe is always appreciated. Check out this video if you want to see if Helldivers is actually coming to Xbox, which is the current rumor. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.